Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about what the modulo operator is in Python. This is a cool little tool that will come in handy during your time spent learning Python. Let's do a couple examples of the modulo operator before we get into how it works and some of its use cases. So let's print out the following, 12 percentage 3 and 7 percentage 2. Now we receive a 0 and 1. Hmm, well what could the reasoning be behind getting these two numbers? Well, the modulo operator, the percentage sign here, gives us the remainder after dividing these two numbers. So, the first value is operand 1, which is 12, modded by operand 2, which is 3. And 3 goes into 12 exactly 4 times. So, there will be no remainder there. However, in our second case, operand 1, 7, will go into operand 2, 3 times, and we will have 1 left over. That is really all the modulo operator does. It takes your second number, the one after the percentage sign, and sees how many times it can fit into the first number. And then it will take the amount remaining and print that to you. The amount of times that the second number can fit into the first number really doesn't mean anything. For example, 21 modulo 2 will give us the exact same thing as 17 modulo 2. Some common things that we can use this modulo operator for is even and odd numbering. So we could basically take any number to a modular 2 and see if we get a 0 or a 1. A 0 since it goes a certain amount into 2, with no remainder will return a 0, whereas an odd number will always return a 1. As you can see here, we will be returned an even or an odd print statement depending on if our number variable is an even or an odd number. Another really cool thing that we can do with the modulo operator is to convert units. So let's say we are writing a program and we have time and seconds and we need to convert it to hours, minutes, and seconds. Well, first let's create a variable called time. This will be the value we use to convert to our hours, minutes, and seconds. Then let's create three variables, one for hours, one for minutes, and one for seconds. For hours, we want the nearest integer value. So we put int brackets, time divided by 3600 seconds in an hour. Now we do the same thing for minutes except using 60 minutes and then we add a modulo and an operand of 60. Without this modulo any time above 59 minutes would remain. So as you can see here in the print statement this is not what we want. So we need the modulo to prevent minutes over 59. Lastly we can find our remaining seconds like so. And as you can see in this example, this little program works well. As a final note, your second operand, which is basically a denominator, cannot be zero. As you can see here, it will return an error called a zero division error. And that is just simply telling us that we cannot have our second operand as a zero. Thank you for checking out this video, and I hope it helped your understanding of the modulo operator in Python. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to address your concerns.